New York City Mayor Eric Adams is passing blame after a horde of young people tore up Manhattan's Union Square. Friday's riot began after an online influencer promised to give away game consoles at the popular downtown spot. Thousands of the influencers' teenage followers showed up, and it didn't take long for things to get violent. Stunning images. Look at that. The teens jumped on top of cars, smashed windshields, and chanted anti-police obscenities. Some threw punches, smoke bombs, even M80 fireworks. Mayor Adams had this message after the violent riot. What you're seeing that is happening uh, to our youth uh, in this country and in general, but specifically here in New York City, is something that we should all be alarmed about. Our children cannot be raised by social media. Uh, our children cannot uh, get their values, their beliefs uh, from social media and other uh, outside entities. Our children are being inundated by influencers, uh, by those who consider themselves to be credible messengers. This is not a policing is issue. This is a parenting issue. And we need to be clear on that. The police is the response after an incident happened. Uh, but there should be a proactive approach. Steve, he went on to say, and I think this was a pretty good point. He said he texted his son on Friday afternoon and said, where are you? Are you in Union Square? And he said, I wonder with the thousands of children who were there hurling dangerous objects at police officers, disrespecting the residents in the area, attacking each other, how many parents texted their children? I think it's a good question. It is a good question. And this goes to show you the power of social media, just that, you know, hey, I'm giving away a PS5. Uh, at the park, come on down. They had no idea that many people were going to show up. But at the same time, you would hope, to your point about parental responsibility, you would hope that every kid in America would know, you know what, if I want a free PS5, I probably shouldn't attack a cop. <laughs> and when it comes to flash mobs, the only flash mob I'm going to take part in at 5 o'clock in the afternoon is if there's one for free Chardonnay. Yeah, free Chardonnay. Okay, I was going to say, like, free Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A and Chardonnay. There you go. I, I'm in, Steve. Um, Michelle, it is really interesting. So this was a 21-year-old influencer, combined following of 13 million. Um, and all of a sudden, you know, give away a PlayStation. People show up with these smoke bomb sort of things. Yeah. And uh, one witness said it looked like we were in war. How does this happen? Uh, well, it happens for... I think there are a couple reasons. I think parenting absolutely is part of the issue. But I do think... Now, he can say it's a, not a policing issue. Well, it kind of is. Because they, they're, they're not being supported to do the right things to punish people and hold them to account in these sorts of situations. They sort of run them through the, the, the turnstile that is the, the police department, right? You know, I was in Boston last week, and I was amazed at how clean and how safe that entire place is. Mm. We covered every place in Boston. And one of the things that we saw along a street was $10,000 fine if you litter. And my kids were like, that seems a little steep. And I said, you see any litter on the ground? <laughs> I mean, the point, and they're like, how does it get enforced? I said, well, you want to try and see? You know, if, are you going to be the one that takes the risk and throws the trash and see if you have to pay 10 grand? And, and, I, and I said, this is, so if you set accountability, you know, you can have people go, Ugh, I really don't want to do that, and they won't. But in this case, there was none. You know, a witness told the New York Post, somebody threw a bottle, and it was up after that. Everyone started throwing bottles. The bottles never stopped. The bottles turned into chairs. Chairs turned into tables. Tables turned into cones. Crazy. Absolutely. I, you know, I, I agree with the mayor in part, like you, but I think that there needs to be more accountability leveled to these people. I think that the media does, a, a, unfortunately, a really poor job, um, or you, you could argue a, a good job, of infantilizing them. Yes. And continuing to say teens and youth and the like. And I do firmly believe as well that the current criminal system here in New York has accounted for that and made room for it, right? We've, we've raised the age of youth. The family court system is abysmal. All of them get essentially let out immediately. And the, heart, the highest proportion of felony arrests lately have been youth. So to me, if, if criminals are criminaling, then we need to treat them as such. And absolutely, we need parents to step in and text and raise their kids right. But the, the kids right now are running the streets. And we, for example, we covered, remember, when Chicago, Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson yeah. yes. um, sort of chastised a reporter for calling it a mob action. And again, he went back to that place of these are our children. We can't call them that. Look, if the square fits... 
I see it like it is. That right there, it doesn't matter whether it's a teenager or an adult, because that right there is crime. And Mayor Johnson's done that twice, just total deflection, total blame game. Um, you know, part of this is to fund the police and the movement and what it's done in our country by the far left. But I did appreciate Eric Adams bringing up parenting because something is awry in our culture when things like this happen. Oh, Bingo, I think that Mayor Eric Adams was spot on in this response. This was not a policing issue. Police had no idea this number of kids were going to descend upon this area and wreak havoc and chaos. And this is a parenting issue. Where are these kids' parents? And in Chicago, uh, Mayor Johnson recently was critical of the media for calling this whole group of kids... Uh, descending upon a 7-Eleven and wreaking havoc there, a mob, and he said that the, it should be a large gathering. And in that scenario, the youngest kid that was there was 12 years old. I mean, how is this possible? Where are these kids' parents is the right question to be asking. And this is something Larry Elder talks about a lot. He says that there's a fatherlessness epidemic in this country. If you fix that, fix that a lot of these other issues will go away as well. And Mayor Adams has even said, you know, not having prayer, not having God, not having faith is at the root of a lot of what we're dealing with. So he does have his moments. He does. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.